I'm uh, starting this video off with a few stills. I put a blanket on her back. I put this belt around her. I put a crupper on her. I put a collar on her. This is new. The collar and crupper are new. I tied the collar to the crupper so it can't fall forward. I'll explain that a little bit more as we get out into the uh, moving part of the video. Okay, this is going to be really weird. I got this thing on my chest. I had one that I wore around my neck, but I can't find it. I'm not going to be able to tell worth a shit what I'm videoing here. I'm about to take Buttercup out for a, an important early trip. And I'm going to try to let you all see it if I'm able. But I make no guarantee the springy boingies because I'm walking and because it's all hung on me on elastic or elspastic or whatever it is, I don't know. There's my girl. She's... I've got her all set up in a special kind of harness here. She's got... Hello, sweetheart. You're a good girl. She's got a lead rope. She's still tied up to it. She's... Uh, uh, I put a... a collar on her. I put a set of hames on her. That gives me some place to hang the lines when I'm not using them. I took bailing twine, fastened it to the collar. I put a crupper on her. Here, honey, move up. There you go. Crupper's a thing that goes around their tail here. I put that on her. That's to keep her from putting her head down and making the collar fall down around her face. If she puts her head down, that, that'll that hold the collar back. These rings here carry the lines. These rings here carry the lines. The lines are buckled on her nose band. She doesn't have a bit in her mouth. We're just doing this strictly with a nose band. And she's not very uh, sure about this being driven business yet. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take her out on the road and uh, walk her on her lead rope away. And then when we turn around and come back, then I'm going to ask her to walk ahead of me and I'm going to drive her with those lines. That's one of the reasons why it's so convenient to have hames on her for now because otherwise, last time I tried this, I had to deal with the lines. This will be... The second time that I've tried to drive her on the road with lines, that I have driven her on the road with lines, and we tried to about it, we're going to do it. There's some mama chicken and her five babies. Hello, sweetheart. She shouldn't be hungry. She said, come on, baby. I, I, I uh, gave her a, a meal of of uh, 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 of uh, 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 soaked nope nope see I let them out I let them out and graze for about two hours in the morning right now the way grass works, you're a good girl. The way grass works, it's it's uh, it's at its sugariest at night because it makes sugar all day in the sun, and then at night the sugar tends to convert to starches, and then it uh, turns into starches, which are are less. Uh, have less potential to founder a donkey. As I've told you, donkeys are are not that crazy about, or are not that evolved for, they like sugar, they like sweet grass, but they're not evolved for it. And founder more easily than horses. She's getting used to this walk. This will be like the fourth time that we've walked down this road. She thinks that since she's walking, she ought to get a goodie. But that's how I train them. 
I can't keep the camera focused on her. If I have any long dead periods, I'll just clip them out. That's my girl. That's my girl. Come on up, honey. Come on. Little up. There we go. Little up. Come on. Come up a little bit. I'll probably pick up a stick. Here's some place maybe. I can tap her on a fanny with it. So come back. You can see that she's behind me. She'd like to get over there and get in the uh, green grass. But she's tolerating this. One of the hard breaks when you're first training one, uh, of course, obviously, the very first thing you do is teach them to walk on a lead rope, walk with you. Um, donkeys are really easy to get to walk with you. It's just, it's their nature. They walk and they're our friends. So it's easy to get one to walk with you. You can see I'm not having to talk to her or argue with her or anything. I'm just walking. Lead rope's hanging slack between us. I can't show you that. Um, but they always like to go home better than they like to go out. So when we get out here a ways, then... I'll put the I'll hang the lead rope on her other hand. I'll pick up the lines. I'll ask her to walk in front of me. And uh she got her nose in the goodie bag. I better move it over here. I, I know in some of my videos it looks like I'm wearing a giant cod piece, but that's actually when the goodie bag gets out in front of me. It's not anything special. She's walking with me real good now, aren't you, honey? Good girl. Come on. She doesn't stay on one side all the time yet. And I'm not rushing that. All those all those little polishes, buff ups, they come over time. Come on, honey. No, we're going. Oops, yeah, somebody's coming. Come on. We got a car back there. I'm waving him on. She doesn't mind being passed. No. Come on. Come on, we're going. That was nothing. That was nothing. Just old car. Ain't nothing. Come on, walk up. That's my girl. Oh, right there. Oh, good girl. I need to tie these up a little better. There you go. Stand. Stand right steady. Stand right steady. There you go. That's one girl. No, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay, that'll keep them up better. Come on. Here. Walk up. That's a girl.
Come on, honey. Walk up. Come on, baby. Walk up. Come on, walk up. That's a girl. I'm giving her a goodie. Come on, baby. Walk up. Here, here. I'm backhanding her a goodie here. You can't see it. I got a hand out behind me, so she'll... Ow! Got a little too deep there, baby. Come on, walk up. Come on, walk up. We're fine. That's my girl. I do a lot of this when I'm first training them. You, you know, it's not all going to be on videos. If it's already not on videos, I've had her out here two or three walks down this road that uh, I haven't videoed. It, I, I'm not the world's greatest videographer, and since I'm working alone, come on, honey. My primary interest is the donkey. The reason I try to video it is if people would like to learn from my systems and methods. And uh, I think donkeys are the, are the uh, most useful helper that the human race has available to us. I think probably the second, come on honey, walk up. The second uh, most useful helper is probably uh, cattle. Oxen have worked for us. There's a very real possibility that we were working oxen even before donkeys. Nobody knows because oxen didn't work with bits. One of the ways that we know how long ago we were working donkeys was that we found, archaeologists have found skeletons uh, with bit marks in there, you know, bit wear on their teeth. So they, they know those animals were were worked. But oxen, they worked with a, a bow over their neck, behind their horns, in front of their shoulders. Come on, baby. And mostly they didn't drive them from behind. They it, it, Typically in, in ancient times, when people worked oxen, they took two people out to work a team of oxen. One of the people held the, the, uh, come on baby, walk up, walk up, come on, walk up, come on, walk up, no, come on, walk up, come on, walk up, see, she's got all this new stuff on, this is all new for her, I mean, we've walked down here before, but she's never had a collar on before, wearing a, wearing a horse collar, that's a whole new thing, she never had all, this stuff, she never had a crupper on her tail before. She never had all these touches and pressures. And so, you know, this is all new. You just have to understand that, that when you're teaching them, you know. See, when I look at her, she'll walk with me. When I turn and face the same way we're going, she tends to stop. Come on, honey. Walk up. Walk up. There's cattle down here, and... In this pasture right over here, I don't see them right now, but they're back there someplace. It's it's fairly big, so they can get out of sight. And big black cattle make donkeys nervous. So she's been nervous here. So we just that's my girl. Keep walking, honey. Come on. Keep walking. Come on. Walk up. Yes, walk up. Here we are. Ooh, yeah, good girl. Walk up. See, if I had another person here, one of us could lead and one of us could feed. Come on. But I work alone, so I do what I'm able.
when they're first with you, they don't like to have their eyes cleaned either, but that doesn't take them very long to learn that that's really comfortable. And they come to like that. Come on, honey. Come on, walk up. Up, up. Walk up. Come on, walk up. You can see by looking, her feet are still pretty long. We had them trimmed yesterday, but there's only so much you can take off at once without without hurting them. So if the feet get, she was three when we got her, there's a fair chance she'd never had her feet worked, and maybe once. So if the feet get pretty long, she was living in Oklahoma, so rough, rocky, sandy ground. It helps them to not overgrow so fast. But once they get pretty long, it takes a few trims to get them worked down. So Sydney was commenting yesterday that she'd made good progress, but, but uh, there's a ways to go. She got an infection on one back foot. Sydney gave it a name. I don't know the name, but I uh, cleaned it up this morning and, and uh, put medication on it. I'll keep doing that. I just put her where she could eat. She didn't mind letting me work it. Come on, baby. Walk up. Walk up. Come on. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. That's a good girl. Walk up. Walk up. Come on. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Come on. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Up we go. There we go. Can't tell if it's even still recording. Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. Come on, honey. Walk up. Come on. Come on, baby. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on. Walk up. Come on, walk up. Up, up, up. Up we go. Come on, let's go. Walk up. There's a pretty good stick. That's a perfect stick. Oh, I got a stick. There we are. Now we got a stick. Jabby got a stick. Sticks. And goodies. Mostly goodies. Walk up. Come on. It's a mile to the end of this road to the blacktop. She was walking better. But like I said, she didn't have all this harness on. Plus, she's getting, you know, this is part of it. They realize that they've that there's this whole new thing going on. And come on, baby, walk up. Come on, walk up, walk up. No, come on, walk up. Ah, walk up. Come on. What? Come on, walk up. Come on, walk up. Every time I turn my back on her, she stops. Walk up. Come on, walk up. Walk up. Come on, walk up. Walk up. There we are. Good girl. Come on, walk up. No, I'm not giving you more goodies. You got to, you got to, you got to perform. There. Yeah. Come on, walk up. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up, come on, walk up. Walk up. Okay, we're not gonna make it all the way to the other end because I don't have the patience for it. So, I'm gonna turn her around. I figure when she aims herself back home, she'll probably pretty quick like be ready to walk out in front of me. So I'm gonna get the lines loose here.
Come on. Walk up. Okay, now we're pointed at home. Now I got the lines over my shoulder. But you see, she's ready to go back home. Go on, baby. Walk up. Walk up. Up you go. That's my good girl. And like I said, these, she doesn't have a bit in her mouth. So what I'm pulling on is the nose band of her, of her uh, halter. But it's still, you know, one ring's on one side and one ring's on the other side. I can pull on the right one. She'll turn right a little. Gee up, honey. Gee a little. Come on. Gee a little. Good girl. Now how a little. Good girl. Walk on. Yeah. if you didn't see me walk her out you'd think she was all broken ready to roll she's a rookie she's learning though she's a good girl Donkeys get to where they know where home is real soon. And it, if they get away from you on a place out like this, they almost, all, all the ones I've had anyway. Go on, baby, walk up. It's me talking bothers you. Go on, honey, walk up. Up you go, good girl. See, I was talking the whole time. I was tr driving her out. See, having me back here helps her to realize that having things follow along behind her isn't a problem. It's when they first pull wagons or skid loads, why? You know, it's bound to scare them. There's all that noise right back there behind them. And they're prey animals. That noise might be trying to eat them. I'm holding her back, and she's pulling me up. She's a fast walker. She's going to be quick to get to town. I won't drive over grass until I've got a check lines on her. Check lines. Come on, honey, walk up. Come on, up, up, walk up. Good girl. Check lines keep them from being able to put their faces down into the grass. You can't really rig check lines until you got a bit, though. Or I, I wouldn't. It'd be hard. Once they've got a crupper on, you got something to pull against, you know. That's, see, that's holding the 
collar from falling forward and uh, all of that even now check lines pull to it too that's an anchor Ooh, ooh. Good girl. Come. Come. got a lot of bits around and because uh, I've had a lot of different size animals over the course of my life and uh, so I'll probably start to teach her to carry a bit fairly soon once they'll once they'll steer with with uh, lines to the nose band and you don't have to pull on a bit very hard. They don't have to be hurt. They got the idea, you know. And once they got the idea, why? Then it's just a matter of getting polished. You see, I'm going to give her the verbal command and pull on the left line when we get up there to the driveway. Even though she's going to go there on her own because she knows that's the way home. be more comfortable for her when she's got a bit than this is because it gets all whopper jawed but she's my big girl okay baby walk up whoops Oop. walk up come on up we go walk up walk up up we go there we go good girl You never want to make them do anything that's real much different than anything they did before. You want every day to be just the tiniest step you can think of. Doesn't matter how short a time you're out, but what you want is you want a, a good start and a good end. Because that's what they remember. Go on, honey, you're good. Go on, baby, walk up. Up you go. That's my girl. Good girl. Does she know she's responding to walk up? I don't know. When she does, I reward her. 
sooner or later you start to know it, I know that. Oh. Walk up. Come on. Up you go. Walk up. There we go. Ah, ah, ah. Walk on. Walk on. Go on. Ah, ah, ah. Walk up. Up you go. Go on. Walk up. Up you go. Good girl. No. Walk on. There we go. You go. Oh, is it getting hard? Is it getting hard, honey? You guys. You guys, it's getting hard, isn't it? All right. Oops. Oops. That made a shake. There. We're such a good girl. She did brave stuff. Lots of brave stuff. Come on, honey. Let's walk up. Come on. Oh, yes, all those cars. And a bandit. All right, good. There's a trash truck. Bandit's on his chain on Monday nights and Tuesdays to keep him out of the neighbor's trash until the trash truck comes. So the trash truck just went by. That means I can let Bandit off his chain. There's Bart's Nickens. We lost one of our baby chicks yesterday. Still got five. Come on, honey. Hello, babies. You're all good, aren't you? Come on, honey. Walk up. Come on, here we come. Walk up. Come on, up, up, up. That's a girl. All the way, come on in. Walk up, honey. Come on, if I let go of that, it's gonna whack you. Come on, honey, walk in. There. There. Step up, up, up. Come on, up, up. That's my girl, good girl. Yes, now we'll get you out of all this stuff. Yes, we will. Come on in. Bonk, did you walk into me? Well, I've been bonked. I lived. You're such a good girl. They're no better. Okay, you guys. That's all I got. Boink. One really pretty girl. <laughs>